Okay, one of my favorite bands from back in the early 80s, uh, the first time I ever heard DMOG was on the Punk Disorderly compilation, as many other people have as well. So I'm really happy to have DMOG here at Doctor Strange. Hi there. Uh, okay, let's well, start off just by introducing yourselves. I'm Andy Kay, I'm the, the mouthpiece piece of DMOG. I'm Terry, um, guitar with DMOG. I'm Steve, bass guitar with DMOG. I'm Marcus, I sit at the back here to things. As I was saying, the first time I ever heard DMOD was, uh, and a mini, mini bands, was on the uh, Punk Disorderly Volume 1 compilation. And after I heard that, I ran out and picked up their 7 inches, which I still have. They look like brand new because I take care of my stuff, and you should too. The last time we had these records was probably, I don't know, maybe a year ago, and they sold within the day for upper 30s, like that. Really sought after, really in demand, and you know, it's. It's a testament because it's still a good record. It's good music is lasts forever, you know. Yeah. Um, now, how long have you guys, each of you individual members, been playing for DMOP? Because I know there's been several lineup changes. You guys started. What year did you start? 1978. I started in 1978 as well. My bedroom with Terry's bedroom. Come yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. yeah. Me, I've been in for eight years. Yeah, me saved my sentence. <laughs> I've been with him uh, 11 years. 11 years this year. Oh. Are you, have you guys ever been any, uh, in any other bands that people might know of? Yeah, like, I was in a band for Legion. Legion, you're a punk band from Wales, back in the UK. Yeah. Andy and myself were in a band called Noise Agents together. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was also shortly in a band, a couple of bands uh, in Saint Society. Uh -huh. And. Uh, Oh, get a grip! She's taking a hiatus in Dublin, and I was in a band called Kiss the Blade after Team Up. So it's only been oh, really. Did you guys release a record? Yeah. yeah, I remember I've seen that record before. Yes, it was in there, sort of post punk. Yeah. Sort of like that. Yeah. Was that around eighty four or five ish? That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Um, Compare, you know, when you guys first started playing, the first the first wave of punk. How does that differ from? today, like when you would play in the UK back then, as opposed to now, what's the what's the change? Is it better? Is it worse? Is it the same with the crowd or the feedback or what is it like? What was it like for, because most of the people watching this were born there, literally. Um, now it's a lot better, you know, the, the, the violence is hardly there, you know. Um, back then, we were just a bunch of teenagers just wanting to play in bands. Um, you know, bypass or, or you see what the bullshit, mm -hmm. and then um, just get up and play. So, and that's what we did. And we would never, ever, well, I never, certainly never dreamt it would be like this. Mm -hmm. You know, we just travel and travel. We, we travel sort of nearly all the way around the world and play. Um, and it's just been such a trip, you know, we, we've had a great time, still having a great time, and we will continue to have a great time. It's a lot better now as well because it's more organized mm -hmm. back in the day you know when we started it was just like <coughs> chaotic radio it was chaotic demo wasn't it yeah it's just like madness but yeah it's great you know because you know i mean we connected with like bobby rio with uh Dutchie from chaotic radio and, and, and you know they, they they've all helped us to sort of like make this happen so to do that you know back in 78 I wouldn't have known Bobby Rio. I wouldn't no. have known Dutch yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's good. To, like social media is brilliant at the moment for stuff like this. Yeah, that's one thing I wanted to hear from you personally because I remember going to shows back then. Crowds didn't mix. You wouldn't have a punk and a mod or a punk and a hippie or a punk and anyone else because they would get their ass kicked, Absolutely. which is a bad thing, you know. And now it's much more inclusive. Everyone is a friend. Mm -hmm. um, and I can relate to the social media computer when you guys started. There's no computer, you know. You're you're writing a letter to people and other, yeah. and going other going to pay phones and putting, yeah, exactly you know, quarters and dimes and that or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm sure it's just so much more difficult. Yeah. Spending yeah. so so much money sending away tapes that you're never going to see again, that nobody is ever going to listen to. Right nowadays, you just film it, put it up on YouTube. If people yeah. like it, they just it's there forever. Oh, it's it free costs ever. nothing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And you've got an instant worldwide audience. Instant, like that. You have an instant fan or someone that's not a fan, but at least you have exposure. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You know, during, uh, as you guys know, in the 80s, punk all but died in the UK. It, that never happened in the US. 
you know, it, it's always been up and down, but punk rock has always been here in the U.S. Why did that happen in the U.K.? I know it didn't completely go away, but it was on life support, wasn't it? Or is that my imagination? Just went underground. Just went back underground. Where it came from. Yeah, I know. There were still shows going oh, on. Absolutely. Yeah, there's right. always been punk shows going on, but I think there was, uh, you know, uh, post-punk, there was, we had Scar coming through, didn't we? There was, like, the new romantic mm -hmm. era and all that, and so everybody, I think, became a bit confused and thinking, oh, am I going to go there, be a Scar punk or... Were they know? trying to cash in? Were they trying to, to sell it, out or make money on it? A lot it, of bands got signed. I think it went hand-in-hand hand with the, the economics of the time. Because punk and rebellious music flourishes when people have nothing. Mm -hmm. And then in the 80s, everybody got a bit more affluent. Loads of money! They started to earn a lot more money. And so people. Why is that? Uh, that church is politics? Yeah, just whatever. Politics and politics yeah. and just the way it was, you know? They um, went to bricklaying in Germany as well, to, I think. Yeah, you know, it's hard, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be. Uh, it's hard to be, to be pissed off when you're. Eating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Right. It's hard to be angry with a full stomach. Yeah, and that's, a good, that's a good point. So, could that's bring us up to now, to 2016. You know, it's been over 30, you guys have been playing forever. How long is that? 38 years, since 78. Jesus. Why are you guys here? What's, what's the deal? The weather is fantastic. Yeah. Weather's great. People are amazing. Thank you very much for your hospitality, which is great. And I think that it's just, for me, seen so many people I mean the last 13 years or four years back, back playing again it's just been like you know an eye opener mm -hmm. and we've all grown up to a degree and you get to meet people that you would never dreamt you met before because once again it goes back to social media but for me it's just it's one hell of a big social you know it's all music industry and you know this is there's a lot of people out there, even social media, you get people moaning and groaning, but at the end of the day, the vast majority, you know, understand what it's about and <coughs> to do what we've done and to see what's going on in the scene now, that's just amazing. You know, it really is. You know, it was supposed to last for a year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, 40 years, Punk Rock, 40 years this year. Uh, big shade of rebellion. It's the 40th year. Yes. We've got the US invasion coming over, over 30 US bands, you know. Um, and nearly 300 bands playing. And we've got Punk Rock Bowling coming up this weekend, which is going to be superb. Um, you know, if Punk's dead, and, you know, no, then you've got your head in the ground. Right. Yeah, well, you, you mentioned Punk Rock Bowling. Uh, I saw you guys a couple of days ago, on Sunday, characters. And, you know, I was really so happy to see you because I've been a fan since I was a kid. And the thing that um, took me by a little surprise is, and it's a compliment, you guys still have so much energy, it's like you have power, the songs were a little kicked up a notch, more than I was expecting, yeah. you're still pissed off, was. yeah, it's just, <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it, it was such a really cool yeah. show to see that, it was a lot of fun, and I could see that you guys were having fun, Absolutely. So, so when you guys are out here, are you looking forward to playing with any bands, or are you just looking forward just to having fun, or like, do you know who you're playing with at Punk Rock Bowling? We, we know it, well, we know the, the bands we're playing with, the PRB, um, the Upstarts, the Upstarts, the Upstarts, the Upstarts, the Brats, Antinori League. Uh, I'm sure you've played with those guys before. Oh, yeah, no, played, we play with all of them set for the Brats, um, so I'm looking forward to that. Are those other bands your buddies, like anti nor League and Jealous yeah, Upstarts? Yeah, yeah, we, it's still yeah, a close-knit family. We, yeah, it is in the UK, and when we play together, you know, backstage, we're all there having beers, chatting, and, you know, it's, it is a social little... Yeah, your brothers, yeah, your yeah. brothers in arms. Absolutely, kind of. absolutely yeah. Mm -hmm. for sure. And we've been so impressed by some of the local bands that we've made yeah. Yeah. Oh, shows here. Yeah. Well, over here, yeah. yeah, the bands are really, you can see that they put a lot of time, effort and into and what they're so doing. And, yeah, and it's great. So I personally, I mean, being from here, I think it's a Southern California thing. Southern California has always been the mecca for punk rock. There's so many people that live in California, so just by percentages yeah. and numbers, I think we're going to have the best. Maybe not the best, but there's a lot to choose from, but well, that's just me being biased. No, well, no, it's, I mean, it's a good bias because it's true. Yeah. yeah. They've you got know? the passion and dedication. Mm -hmm. You can see that when they play. You can see that they're, you know, 24-7, <laughs> living their dream, doing it, and, and, and really making, you know, an effort to make it good, which is brilliant. And audiences should appreciate when they see a band, you know, the time and effort that they've put into that, you know, and enjoy themselves. Do any of these younger bands, or, or any bands in general, but especially younger bands, come up to you and say, 
hey, you know, um, I'm a fan of yours, or you've influenced me in some way, or whatever the case may be. That's got to be pretty cool. All the time, it is. <laughs> Sometimes when we play a show, if that one or two people come up to me and say, wow, I'm so glad that I've seen you, it's worth playing that show. Even and if there's only five people <laughs> and who's come up yeah. and said that. Especially yeah, yeah. when they're young as well, especially when they, you know, that could be my kid. Oh, you know for sure. I mean? and yeah. It's like that's, that, it's a real You honor. can kind of mold them or push them. When, when people come up and they say that, it's mm -hmm. like, you, you know, you shouldn't really know anything about them. You know? Right. Like, or about the band, it's not, you know, not about me, but... And it respect it. Yeah. Well, they've made the effort to get to know, you know, get to know yeah. bands and the music, and mm -hmm. then they actually get to see the bands. You know, it's, it's something special for them. And um, I mean, it's, it's always a special thing for us to get up there. Every single gig, you know. And to have them get up with us if they want. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got an open stage policy. Oh, I know, I noticed. Yeah. If you want to get up with us and sing, you get up and sing. Yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. every time, every time, you know. Let's talk briefly, because I'm just curious, and I always like to ask uh, people from other countries that come into the store, especially now, the political season. What does the UK in general think about the US What's going on with our politics? Do you guys get the news over there? I'm sure you yeah, do. It's, it's, it's just such a weird time right now. Is it a joke? What do you guys think? Well, I, I, I listen to the news. Well. Yeah, I listen to the news and I think, my God, it was America having a laugh here with Donald. That's what I thought. Donald Duck, is it? Sorry, yes. no, Donald Trump. <laughs> Forrest right. Gump. Yeah. Yeah. Forrest Gump. Yeah, but you just think, oh, why is this happening? It's, uh, well, I just hope that it doesn't happen that Donald Trump becomes a president because my fear is that following it in the UK, we might have the mayor, what's his name? Oh, oh the mayor of London? Boris, yeah. Boris Johnson, yeah. yeah. I see we might possibly, and that, to see those two comedians on the stage will be... Well, maybe yeah. it's the season, this is the season well, for comedian. It's, yeah, it, it's dumbfounding to me. Yeah. I never thought yeah. you would make it this yeah. far. Second clouds. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, I just thought you'd say just kidding at one point. No, no, we, but, we're aware of how mad it seems, and I think the world is aware yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a blowhole, you know, it's yeah. like six clouds. Challenge, yeah, it's, you know. it's, it's just, cool to be alive at this time, but it's also a little scary. Yeah, yeah. Just watch, wait, you, you, you wait and watch it and see what's going to go on, because something's going to happen, because, you know, mm -hmm. you can't put those idiots in charge of anything. No way. You, know, you can't put touching the arse with both hands, you know, mm -hmm. so... To stand well back and watch from a distance. You know? I think it's important for the American people to make the right decisions for their own futures. To be a little more diplomatic about it. It's not really anything to do with us guys. No. It will be. Whoever becomes president is going to be a knock-on effect. But and we'll all have got, a fucking got damn got good laugh about it. We've got to rely on you guys to make the right choice. Yeah. yeah. I Yeah, please. <laughs> I always tell people to vote. I usually don't say who to vote for. No. But please get out and vote. You know, yeah. and think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Don't listen to the news. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to them. Yeah. Do your own research. Yeah. And don't, I think don't you'll come up about it if you yes. do nothing about Trust it. Trust That's my judgment. Yeah. You Trust don't vote, you. you don't get to complain. Trust your own judgment. Yeah. All right, well, let's get back onto a good topic punk rock bowling. Well, you're playing tonight. Where are you playing tonight? Today, uh, today's Five Star Bar in the downtown LA. Five Star in downtown LA. Who are you guys playing with? Anyone just local? Uh, we'll... Remind us, Bobby, to be defended. Repeat offenders. Oh, repeat yeah. offenders. Yeah, they're yeah, cool. Repeat offenders. You like them? Yeah. Underground Alliance. Underground Alliance. What time is that going to be? Uh, I think it's eight or nine. The doors going to be eight, about eight-ish. Yeah. And then um, I'm not sure what time we're on, but we're going to be on. Yeah, we are going to be on. For now. Yeah. If you're watching this, get down there. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, they're awesome. Miss really it, cool band. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then what about Vegas? You guys are taking off to Vegas. Uh, what Friday? Uh, Early hours of Saturday morning, yeah, early you know, Saturday morning. and uh, we'll, we'll land in Vegas, we can sneak in, and then uh, we'll be ready for, I don't know, I think the first show we're on is about, uh, I think we're on about 11 o'clock. Where at? Because there's a lot of shows, right? Yeah, one of the club shows with the anti no League. It's just sold out, oh, it's sold out. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. um, and then there's another show going on, <laughs> and then after that there's another show going, which is the pool party. Oh, yeah, Gonzo Angel, does the pool there, party. Yeah, Those yeah, are yeah. supposed to be really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I we'll think you'll love that. So we're up for that, yeah. So, what about a website? What about if people want to get in touch with you? Email, website, whatever. You can get DMob stuff here at Doctor Strange, of it's course. www.facebook.com forward slash Pump for Life Six. Chosen a shorter email. <laughs> Just, no, sorry, sorry, I got that wrong. www. 
Facebook.com forward slash DMOB1978. Or you can email Dr. Strange at drstrange.com. <laughs> and and I will it. let you know. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> That's the email. Read it in the phone book. Well, guys, I want to say thanks. I really, really appreciate it. It was like a, it's a dream to meet you guys. It's really cool. I know it's not like punk rock to have idols, but I look up to you guys because you're older than I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we are. And I want to give a special thanks to our studio audience. Hey. Hey.